My name is James Goodyear. I'm the GIS and Remote Sensing Technician within the Geomatics Group at the School of Engineering. As part of my role, I'm responsible for all of the uh, drone surveys that we undertake for research and uh, university dissertation projects. We undertook a project looking at the Phantom 4 Pro versus the Phantom 4 RTK and looking at whether the improved uh, lenses as well as the RTK capabilities of the drone would um, give us a more accurate final DSM and open mosaic imagery. Um, so traditionally we'd be looking at laser scans um, or even terrestrial survey. Um, however, in a site like a quarry where we were undertaking this field work, um, that would require multiple setups, uh, probably looking at a full day of collecting um, the laser scan data, um, putting out a lot of targets, things like that. Um, whereas with the drone, although we have to put the ground control out, um, it's a lot faster using the drone to collect a large site like quarry with multiple levels and lots of um, angles that might need multiple setups to see with the traditional laser scanner and total station work. From a processing point of view, afterwards we were able to download the raw GPS files for the flight plan, which we can then post-process to um, compute accurate trajectories for the drone. The Phantom 4 RTK performed very well on the day. With the link to the base station, we noticed that the aircraft hovered a lot more stable at the specified height, um, which when we have a specified flight plan, um, we were a lot more confident that it was at the height that we requested and the uh, aircraft was following that flight consistently throughout the survey.